All right. Well, I see people are coming in and it is time to start. So rather than make people wait, uh, I'm going to get going right away, introduce myself and use all of the 15 minutes that we have for this presentation. My name is Robert Douglas and I'm from Platform SH. And uh, today I'm going to show you the integration between platform.sh and Lando, which is a well-known tool in the Drupal community for uh, enabling local development of Drupal sites or other sites, and then coordinating usually with some cloud hosting provider to uh, deploy the sites that you've developed with Lando. So uh, let's get right into it because 15 minutes is barely enough time to show uh, the most important stuff. And I'm going to share my screen. Great, hopefully everybody sees that. What am I looking at here? This is a uh, Drupal project on Platform SH. Uh, it's called Drupal 8 Multi-Site because in fact, it's demonstrating uh, Platform SH's native ability to run Drupal in a multi-site configuration. Uh, and I can show you that easily. So uh, I've got my master branch here. And if I look at the URLs, I've got uh, a URL that says first, and that is just a plain old Drupal 8 site. And I've got a URL that says second, which is uh, I installed this site as the Umami uh, profile. So these are both just, you know, uh, basic unchanged uh, installations of Drupal, but you can see from the URL that they're running on a multi-site configuration. Okay, so that's good, a good starting point. Uh, now, what's down here, this is the, um, these are the other branches that I have active. Um, and on Platform SH, if you're not familiar with it, every Git branch that you create on your repository can be tested as a complete application, uh, separate from uh, the production, which is the master branch. So for example, if I were the person working on the e-commerce feature for site one, down here, I could come and I could see again the uh, first site, which is uh, doesn't have its TLS um, provisioned, but there it is. And I could go to the second site, uh, same with TLS, and there's the umami. So. This is uh, really nice because uh, one of the hard things to set up when you're doing a multi-site uh, project is testing the individual sites uh, in isolation with real working URLs that mapped each site. And Platform SH does that natively. Now in the back end here, we've got the PHP, we've got the uh, MariaDB database, and we're using the Redis cache. We could also add other services very easily here, including uh, Solar or Memcache or Varnish. Um, those are very common ones in the Drupal scene, but Elasticsearch or Kafka uh, or MongoDB would also be possible. In any case, that's uh, all really great. And that's what Platform SH does natively. But the problem that we were facing is that we didn't have a good way to enable developers to do this development locally with all of the, um, with, with all of the uh, benefits of uh, these branches and the services running um, and people were having a hard time getting that set up. And this is where Lando comes in. So uh, Lando is a tool that was built by Tandem, uh, which is a tool that you run locally and then it connects with Platform SH and it uh, will actually grab uh, the, containers from Platform SH, the Docker containers from Platform SH that are used to run the various services. It will connect to Platform SH account uh, for you uh, with your account and it will look at your sites and let you pull down any of the sites that you have and get them configured locally without doing anything. So I'm gonna run through this as a video, what that looks like and I'll be pushing pause and talking over it. So at the beginning, uh, you just say uh, Lando init sort pl source platform SH. Um, and then it asks you to get a, an API token from platform SH. 
And that looks like this. So I go to my account, I create an API token, I'll call it Drupal multi-site. I'm gonna copy that token. I'm just gonna paste it into my uh, terminal here. You don't see that because it's hidden. And then Lando uh, is authenticated and it knows all of the sites that I have to pull from. So I choose the Drupal 8 multi-site and it's going to do a whole bunch of stuff. Now, the first time you do this, it takes a little bit longer because it has to download some Docker containers and do a little bit more. But this time it didn't have to do any of that. So it's done pretty uh, fast. And it says, now we're cooking with fire. Your app has been initialized. So um, you can see that uh, I got the Drupal 8 multi-site uh, app down there and I can continue. So the next command is Lando start. Uh, I didn't show you how to install Lando, but the, um, it's basically uh, for Mac, I had to download the, um, what is it, DMG file and install it, but there's an installer for Windows uh, and a way to do it in Linux as well. So it's pretty easy, you just follow the instructions on Lando. Okay, that's the installation. Now that I've got the uh, the app running and the um, the connection to Platform SH initialized, I do Lando start on this particular app, the Drupal 8 multi-site. And it does a whole bunch of stuff. It's starting containers, it's um, setting up a proxy so it can handle you know, various URLs. It's getting uh, all of the environment uh, libraries in place. And then it goes and does a composer install uh, on the code base. And, and that's because uh, Platform SH uh, doesn't require you to use composer, but it uh, enables you to build your applications using composer in a very nice way. Uh, and the template that I used for this Drupal 8 multi-site, which you can install on Platform SH yourself and test is composer based. So um, one of the nice things that platform does for you is always build your code from any package manager that you're using composer, Maven, Gradle, pip, um, NPM, yarn, you can use any of those to build your applications. This is no ex uh, exception. So uh, the installation of this Drupal 8 multi site locally recreates that and builds your code with composer there. So there we go. Uh, it says it's um, starting and starting the apps, opening the platform SH containers that it pulled from our uh, Docker repository. And there we go. So it's telling me now uh, that I have a Drupal 8 multi-site running locally, which is great, which is exactly what I wanted. And uh, I'm going to grab that URL for the first site and take a look. So that's not to be unexpected because so far, uh, so that was the uninstalled Drupal site, of course. Um, we'll see that it does the same with the, the second one. I'll take the HTTPS. URL there, and we'll see that here we also get the um, yeah the the TLS certificate warning. I just accept that and move on. And also that site is uninstalled, but that's not that's not what I had in the cloud, right? So now the next step, which is always a pain for local developers, is to get the database and uploaded files for both of those sites into the right place. Now uh, this. Uh, could involve, depending on how things are set up, lots of X, MySQL exporting, MySQL importing, SCP or FTPing files across the wire. But with Lando, all I have to do is Lando pull, and it's gonna ask me uh, which site first uh, and second, those are the names of the sites, do I want to import from, and which uh, files I want. I just want the files in web files. Don't need any of the, dot drush files or anything like that. And it's uh, authenticating me. Um, and now it's importing the data and watch closely, it's gonna go fast. It's imported the first database. It's imported the second database. There are all the files and we're done. 
that's it. That's all I had to do to synchronize. So I'm just going to refresh this page uh, without the core install PHP. And this is local. I've just imported all of that data. And there's my Umami site. Do the same thing here. And there's my site. So that's uh, all I had to do to get both um, of my multi-sites installed uh, locally. Now from there, it's really nice. So um, I'm just gonna go in here into live coding. So I've got in this uh, directory, I've got both of my useful tools uh, handy. I've got the platform tool and it recognizes right off all of these branches that I have and I can switch between them and uh, and I can run commands like if I wanted to, uh, you know, do a drush command on the server side, like in the cloud, I can do platform drush. Uh, what, what is it? Status? Yeah, let's try that. And I can see the status of the uh, site in the cloud. Or I've got the Lando tool as well. And that's got all of these commands that I can do here. Um, so, and, and these would run on the containers and the copies of the sites that I have running locally. So what didn't I have to do in this scenario? I didn't have to do anything with Docker except to make sure that I have Docker installed on my laptop. Okay, I didn't have to do anything with Kubernetes. Okay, Kubernetes doesn't play a role here. So um, I didn't have to do any data synchronization. Uh, I didn't have to install a special version of PHP to be uh, running the same version of PHP that I'm running in the cloud, even if it's different than what I have on my laptop. I didn't have to do any of that. It's just really, really, really simple. Um, in case you're familiar with Platform SH, Lando follows along with all of the native uh, files that you uh, create in Platform SH. For example, Platform SH um, has a routes YAML file that specify all of the incoming URLs. Lando mirrors that. It actually parses these files. Same with services. So um, with the uh, services, you get to specify which backend services are running for your site. Um, I showed you MariaDB and Redis. This example has MariaDB and PostgreSQL. Lando will um, launch all of those, including uh, if you want Elasticsearch, Headless Chrome, InfluxDB, Kafka, Memcache, Mongo, Postgres, RabbitMQ, Redis, Solar, or Varnish, which is a very nice list. You don't have to build any of those Docker containers. You just add them to the YAML file and they go. So this was a very short demo. There's no time for questions, basically. But if you come to the Platform SH booth, the virtual booth here at DrupalCon, not only do we have a, a 40 uh, euro voucher for Platform SH, a credit voucher for you to get, for someone to get um, today, but uh, I will go to the booth right after the session. And if you have questions about the Lando integration, um, then that's the absolute best place and time to ask them. Um, I think 15 minutes is a very short session, but I'm really grateful that you all uh, joined. And it looks like, in fact, there were uh, a number of people in the room. So greetings to you all. I wish I could see you. Maybe I know some of you. I miss you all. Be safe, be healthy. And that's the session.